In case you don't know me, my name is Dr. Fez, and I'm what you might call a clinical researcher in human sexuality. I wasn't searching for a mere bit of bone or a piece of crumbling ancient pottery, or even gold encrusted with rubies. No, what I was looking for was much more valuable. It was something that was stolen from me. And after a year of searching, I was on the verge of recovering something very dear to my heart, as well as several other pieces of my anatomy. There! Someone had hidden it, where no one was supposed to find it. I'm not certain of its origin, but it's more powerful than a nuclear arsenal and more valuable than the combined wealth of the planet. What is it? Is it toxic? I see treasures. And it belonged to me. situation was very dangerous. On the black market, the clicker was worth untold millions. <laughs> we hear you are departing us, Doctor. Yes, I'm catching a, uh, a ferry tonight. <laughs> Is there any truth to this rumor of this magical... Device. You know, gentlemen, truth is right. Huh? People are saying that whoever has this device can make anyone do anything. Anything. That's <laughs> <laughs> the question. Give us the device. Follow me, Papa. <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh, 
Excusez-moi. I'm leaving. You go to Agadir? Uh, no. Oh. Wait. I've got something for you. <laughs> what this is? Huh. I'll show you. fear had become a reality. Through the black market, the clique had ended up on the Greek island of Eos. There, a French baroness was looking for a little more than her sniveling English husband could give her. Festive, no? Excusez-moi. Uh, how do you prefer your columns? What? Doric, uh, Ionic, or uh, Christian? I, uh, I like, I like my columns. I prefer big columns. Uh, do you <coughs> don't know what I'm talking about? Gwen, darling, we've got to go. Wait for me in the limo. Oh, you're right, right. Well, whatever. I'm going to No, I don't want I went all over the world following Click. It seemed that whatever city I was in, I was always one city too late. I didn't know it at the time, but again, through the international black market, Click ended up in the hands of one of the most ruthless and powerful lawyers in Los Angeles. And this is where the real chase began. Grandpa. <laughs> Talk less, Bill Moore. Did you bill for your shower this morning? Yes, Mr. Brinstone. Good. Got any new clients? Well, I was going to, you see. What are you waiting for? Go chase a fucking ambulance! Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> Victoria? Yes, sir. Victoria, meet me in the conference room in, um, five minutes? Yes, sir. Oh my God, what the hell does he want to see me for? Maybe he knows you're trying to out him. Oh shit. 
Or perhaps he found out you sold that story to National Gossip Magazine. Oh, my God. Oh, just shut up. Or, or maybe he just wants to talk to you about an upcoming case. What? Are you kidding? That old geezer hates me. Probably hasn't gotten a stiffy in 10 years. Besides the fact he knows I'm going to force him into retirement. No matter what happens, I'll be with you. Oh, stop it, will you? I'm trying to scheme. Let me scheme with you. Forget it, Jason. You're a fourth-rate schemer. I'm a good schemer. All right. Listen, I'm going to go into that conference room and meet with that old wart. While I'm in there, with discretion, ask around the firm. Try and find out what's going on. I'm scared. Stop it. Look, if you do a good job snooping, I'll let you practice naked torts on me. Ooh, naked torts? <laughs> Sit down, Miss Fiberfilch. Deb, what would you say, Victoria? If I told you, I've always found you to be very attractive. I'd say thank you, sir. And what if I thought that sensual? I would say that that would never happen. Well, never say never, Miss Victoria. But enough of that. Let's get down to business. I'm not satisfied with the Binder case. <sighs> the... The Binder case is very similar to the Debra Excuse me. Anybody here know what's going on between Victoria and Mr. Brimstone? Not that I'm snooping or anything. That oh, really penalize me, yes. That's, oh, that's my Victoria. That's, that's oh. my Victoria and, and, and Mr. Brimstone. Hey, hey! What's a big idea? Oh, yeah. hey! Sadly, this was not the first life lost as a result of the almighty click falling into the wrong hands. I had to get it back, not just for myself, but for the sake of humanity. Coming through, okay. coming through now. All right, please, everybody, please, get back, step back, please. Why are his pants around his ankles? That's not important right now. What's important is the session plan. But he's dead. Clear. First priority is still to take care of our client. Uh, the client's not going anywhere. Clear. He isn't bad for an old big guy. You know, you're right. Will this affect my bonus? Clear. Save your energy. I think we've got a cold one. If you babbling insects are finished, let's get one thing perfectly clear right now. I am taking over as CEO. If any of you needle dicks think you can take on the job, step to the plate. I think, um, get a meeting. Yeah. Good choice. She really is the most qualified. Shut up. Shut, Shut up. up. Wait, 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 wait. Lose, Grandpa. It wasn't until later that Victoria realized there was a little something extra in her meeting with Mr. Brimstone. I don't get it. You don't have to get it. Just shut up and help me find it. Well, explain to me what this thing looks like again. It's a thing. Well, what kind of thing? It's a... just stand there and shut up. Well, there's all kinds of different things. It could be animal or, or vegetable or, or mineral. It could be a machine. Shut it up! Could be a, it begins with closing your mouth. How about 20 questions? You want to play 20 questions? Damn it! Sweetheart, you are not cooperating with me. Oh, Jason! Drive me to the coroner's office. The coroner's office? There's dead people there! Oh, if we don't find this thing, there's gonna be a lot more dead people. What? What thing? 
Meanwhile, Ashley had the click to help her with her dating problems. Mary? Mary? Oh, dead. Yeah, he turned gay. <laughs> Out on bail. <laughs> Uh, hi, Herbert. This is Ashley. You probably don't remember me, but I met you at your arraignment last November. I was the one filing the civil suit against you. Anyway, you probably remember. Listen, I was wondering how you were doing and thought maybe we could get together sometime, like tonight. Uh, so, uh, listen, I'll be up till, um about 11 if you want to call actually make that 12 30 12 30 and if you get in at 12 45 you can call me it's perfectly fine okay bye I can't believe we're doing this. Well, just shut up and keep looking. I think I'm gonna be sick. Oh, I got him. Are you sure we're allowed to do this? No, just sh shut up and hold his feet. Come on, do it. There's nothing I can't stand when a culture helplessness. He's dead, Victoria. You have to move on. It must have been taken by somebody in that room. I want every single person that was in that meeting questioned and searched. It's got to be done tonight. As Victoria and Jason were tearing through the city in search of the elusive clicker, Ashley was having a party of her own. Who needs men anyway? You out of my life. I want you out of my life. I want you out of my life. Uh, just a minute. Yeah. Um. Hi. Um. I live. I live below you, and, and I heard. Uh, well. I, I'm sorry. I I'm sorry, never mind. Hey. Yes. You want to come in? Okay. <sighs> wow. I, I can't believe this is the same apartment as I have. What do you do? Oh, I'm a, a paralegal. I work in a law firm in Beverly Hills. What do you do? I'm an actor. Oh. Oh, that's nice. This is really nice. Have I ever seen you in anything? You ever heard of Konstantin Stanislavski? Uh, is that a TV show? You know, I thought not. You're completely ignorant. Oh, thanks a lot. I bet you don't know anything about Boleslavsky, do you? Mayakovsky, Strasburg, Sanford Meisner. Look! No! You don't know the difference between organic and inorganic, between acting and, and being, between having a, a true moment and, and indicating. I gotta go feed my pet turtle. No, no, no. Wait, please. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to be so rude. I'm rehearsing a monologue. Monologue? Yeah, a monologue. What for? For auditions. 
See, an actor must always be prepared with two monologues, one classical, one contemporary. That was, of course, my contemporary monologue, which I did not finish. Would you like to see some more? Yeah, I guess. Right, great, here, sit. Ready? Yeah, just a sec. You ever heard of Konstantin Stanislavski? I thought not. You are completely ignorant. You don't know anything about Boleslavski, do you? Or Mayakovsky? Strasbourg. Sanford Meisner. The work, the study. You don't know anything of the work. What, do you think I'm in it for the money? I'm an actor. It's what I do. It's, it's the only thing I know how to do. What are you, some fake two-bit showgirl? Piece of ass? You know, I want you to go. Just go. Oh, God. What? Who's that lousy, huh? Well, tell me. Tell me, damn it. I love you. What? I said I love you. Love me? You don't know anything about me. So? Fooey. It seems Ashley had found other uses for the passion-producing powers of the clicker. She turned an over-the-top actor into a sensitive and powerful performer. Of course, with the click, performance didn't end there. Oh, it's mine. <sighs> Phone's over there. Don't take too much time. I got a lot of calls coming. It's me, Tasha. Hi, Natasha. I thought you were still in the lawn. I'm back in LA. I'm doing a shoot for Downtown Bride at Shatter Studios. I just love to see you. Hey, my half sister is back from the lawn. And uh, you want to drop in on a photo shoot with me? Oh, well, you know, I'm kind of busy. I mean, I wasn't. Okay. Okay. We'll be there. Great. I'll see you in a bit. Bye. <laughs> Victoria, we've woken up half the office looking for this thing, and I'm tired. I want to go home. Jason, would you please just go back to shutting up? Someone has that thing, and I'm going to find it. Oh, Victoria, you're so strong. Hey, give it to me. Very good. Hmm? Right, hold it right there. It's kind of ironic. How's that? Because no one would marry your sorry pimply ass. I have a lovely ass, last I checked. Not a single pimple on it. I think you should look a little harder. Parisio, can't you pretend to at least want to fuck her? Let's go! Ah, Christ, a little love something? Who the fuck told you you could model, fucking ugly? Oh my god, that's Lou. Who? Lou Birnbaum, really? one of the most powerful agents in Hollywood. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. No, I, I haven't seen your work, but I really respect the buzz on you. Yeah, why don't I have my assistant call you and set up an appointment for about, uh, next month? Like, uh, end of next month? <laughs> Come on, give me some love! Christ, a little love song. I have been trying to get her to represent me for three and a half years. And a friend of my manager guaranteed me that she was thinking about returning my phone call. And you know, this time I think I believe it. I 
All right, keep it going. Keep it right there. Shh, be quiet. Make love to the camera. Chin up. Well, no, yes. Oh, you were incredible. I only wish I could do what you do. Oh, Sylvia's cool. She's a bull dyke, but she can sure snap a good picture. <laughs> Where's your friend? Oh, he's right over... What the fuck does Stallone know about a script anyway? <coughs> Tasha, my dear. Lou, did you ever meet my half-sister, Ashley? Lou Birnbaum, how do you do? Natasha speaks so highly of you. <laughs> Actually, I've never mentioned her to you. So, Tasha, how you feel? You look beautiful. Good. Oh, Good. I'm so tired. Mm. Oh, the hell of heaven. Just three more photo shoots, and then she has one entire day off before she flies to Tokyo to do that uh, cyberpunk <sighs> movie. <laughs> wow. Listen, sweetie, I tripled your value in the past three months alone. So keep it smiling, OK? Good. Good, good. Well, I'm going to go now. So I will uh, stop by briefly tomorrow. If you have any problems, just let me know. And Ashley, it was so nice to meet you. The family, that's what's important. Not this silly business. The family. Fucking hell, wardrobe! Would you change her, please? Fucking wanker. What'd she say? What'd she say? Who? Blue. Did she say anything about me? No. What were you doing over there? Shh! Who are these fucking people? I do not like her. Meow. All right, hurry, hurry, let's go! Come on! Pretend you're on a honeymoon, for Christ's sakes. Caribbean or something. She's beautiful. Shh! Be quiet! God. Some sincere fucking love. Can you do it? Come on, Fabrizio, you wanker. <laughs> Better. It was in the hands of someone who would put it to good ends. As Victoria and Jason closed in like hungry wolves, this was just the calm before the storm. Well? Here's your jacket. Thanks. Good night. Good night. Good luck on your audition. Yeah, thanks. You wonderful, wonderful thing. We're gonna do everything together. Ashley, out late, aren't you? Stick them up. Thank you. No! With the clicker now in the possession of the evil Victoria and the fumbling Jason, I finally made my way to the rambling world of Hollywood. My first thought was to visit an old colleague, Professor Shuck, wise in the ways of psychomania and perversion. Ah, hey! <laughs> Professor Shuck, whoa! Good to see you. Good to see you, sir. Ah, oh, thank you. Ah, I read your paper on the electromechanistic aphrodisical erotomania. Click. I just call it the play. Yeah, so, well, what can I do for you? Well, I have reason to believe that the click device is here. 
in LA. Do you mean it actually exists? Yes, it actually exists. I have the device. Ah, hoo -hoo. Lucky you, hey? <laughs> I'm sorry to say, it was stolen. I see. Well, how can I help? I know the device is here someplace. I just don't know who has it. It's in LA. You don't know who has it. So, you need my help. Yes. <laughs> Go ahead. What? Drink your tea. Oh. How do you know her? She's my agent. Yeah, she sold my last three scripts. Scripts? You don't got a script? Oh, this is Hollywood. Everybody's got a script. You've got to get a script. As I muse the idea of Click as a movie, my Hollywood adventure took me to the strange beast known as ACC talent agency. So, are you a writer or are you a director? Because, I mean, I'm working on this project that I think you would love, and this thing with Lou is totally... Hey, this fucking job, people! I was yelling at me! Give me just bubbly water! So, anyhow, we'll talk later, all right? Right. Oh, this is Lou you're talking to, okay? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No. No, 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 no. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. Mm hmm Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Ha! Sit on the couch. That's all. Pick up the phone. The other phone. Yes, uh, hello? Yes, what can I do for you? Uh, well, I'd like to speak to Lou. I'm right here. Where? Turn around. But don't fucking look at me. Now get to the point. I'm very busy. I've got an animated slasher musical being pitched to me in five minutes. It's hot, violent, but with heart. Yes, I, I think I see. Well, I was speaking with uh, Professor Shug and... Uh, Shug? Well, why didn't you say so? You can look at me. Oh, God, Shug, excellent writer, major, major talent. I discovered him, of course. Yes, I see. Well, uh, he, he was... On the phone. Uh, well, uh, as I was saying, he, he said that uh, you may be able to assist me in, in finding something... Let me get this straight. This clicker thing can stimulate a person's lust. I like that. Visual, high concept, I can sell that. Not just lust, but uncontrollable sexual desire. Desire is such a nature that demands immediate gratification. Pointed at a subject, it releases a chemical called LD5 that in the brain <gasps> causes... It causes horniness. Good, good, good. Yes. My 
My point exactly. And there's only one of these things in the entire world? To my knowledge. All right, Doc, you're on. We have a deal. I'll find the thing, I'll deliver it to you, and of course, I will represent you in any and all further transactions straight across the board. That's film, television, infomercials, oh. commercials, oh, sporting uh, events, and book deals, you okay? You do that? You do that for me? Well, that's very kind. <laughs> Sign here. And sign there. And sign here. Get out. What? This is so that I can call you. Keep it with you at all times, and under no circumstances do you initiate a call. I'll be in touch. Okay. Hello? I found it. Hello? That was swift. Get in! Professor Shug said Hollywood moves fast, but this fast, I never would have guessed. Meanwhile, Victoria was up to some fast... Of course I wanted the clicker back, but I didn't know where Lou was taking me. Are you sure we should be here? I thought you said you wanted that thing back. Well, maybe we can wait and come back during the day. Are you scared? Well, yes. <laughs> this is it. How can you be so sure? I get good information. Oh, well, we, we, we could be bum-rushed. Ready? No! Oh. What is this place? Document archive for ILP. ILP? International Law Partners. Old man Brimstone, the senior partner, kicked the bucket yesterday during quite a little tryst. Uh, hey, hey, that sounds like my clicker. ILP's the most powerful and politically reprehensible law firm in the world. They represent all kinds of foul, evil vermin. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, worse yet, they're not even my client. Wait, wait, look over there. Give me a drag of that, horsey boy. On three, ready? What? Three! Ah. <gasps> Stop right now, you fiends! <laughs> Who are you? Victoria. Lou. Ashley. Where are you? Jason. I'm Dr. Fez. And I'm to save you. Victoria, Lou. Jason, Jason, give it to me. No, Jason, give it to me. Give it to me, Jason, if you know what's good for you. Jason, give it to me. I can give you all that you ever dreamed of. You could be Errol Flynn. Errol Flynn? Living in a mansion, hot tubs, cocaine. Really? All that's good in America. I won't have to grovel anymore. Jason, wait. You called me a fourth-rate schemer. Jason, Jason, I, I, I know I've never said it before, but I, I love you. Really? <laughs> Honey. <laughs> J Jason, grab it. Oh, Dr. Fez. <gasps> bitch, you wish you were half the bitch I am. Oh, the key, the key, the key. 
Where, where is it? Uh, over there. Huh? Right, right there, over there. Yeah. Oh, please hurry. <gasps> friend. I have to ask you a favor. Oh? Can you spell retribution? <laughs> so at last I had my beloved Ready. clicker back. Ashley, however, still had designs for revenge and retribution. And who am I to deny a kidnapped victim their sacred right to justice? you once to not ever lay your hand on my ass again. I didn't lay my hand on your ass. I bumped into you in the hall. You should be thankful. <laughs> once again, you're overreacting. You are a pig. You're lucky. We don't have a problem. We have a contract, which means that you have a problem. It's a little thing called the law. Last night was your first time, but I've just got other commitments. Of course I'll call. E excuse me. And so, my friends, this is where the story ends. I returned with my precious click to my hometown, that most beautiful of places, that Baghdad by the bay. San Francisco.
must remember, my children, the next time you look into someone else's eyes, be aware the click is out there. And if you're lucky, the click may find you.